that I have two separate books here. Dun, 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 two entirely books. And now I need to go back and analyze what I've got so far so that I can actually start crafting the necessary prompts and controls so that I can make sure that the AI is helping me generate stuff that we're not violating previous canon. And it's also been a long time since I touched this series, so I don't exactly remember everything. <laughs> What I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab up, I'm going to pull up Claude on Poe. I need the, the 100K context to pull off the ver to pull off these prompts. And what we're going to start with is, is if you look at my details, uh, since I started using AI, I've come up with this standard, this is my details template. Um, and I put the, the, the details template into Pseudowrite as the very first document. Um, Normally, what I've been doing uh, for my newest books is I generate lo log lines, tag lines, an elevator pitch, some gists, some blurbs. I also, uh, because uh, of Story Engine, I've started making, figuring out the genre, the style. One of the other things I do is I use these AIs. They are extremely good at SEO targeting. So I have been, for some of my more recent books, uh, I have been asking it to generate to tell me what the keywords are. Then over here for my series Bible, I, I also put together a series Bible. Uh, and then, of course, there's the characters, the synopsis, chapter outlines, and some general feedback about inconsistencies and improvements. So these are all things that we're going to go through. So drinking from the fire hose. How oh, what I'm going to do here is I have a prompt. Okay, so here we go. So, So this is... Um, this is the prompt pre-prepared, and what it is is everything up here is the actual text from the book. So uh, I'm going to ignore that. Here's here's the prompt, and hopefully I made it big so that people could read it. You are an AI with the persona of a, metac a meticulous literary analyst who, ha who has a deep understanding of the elements of storytelling, narrative structure, character development. Your proficiency in genre conventions, themes and motifs, and world building principles is unmatched. You're capable of reading and comprehensively analyzing novels, distilling their complex narrative and thematic elements into an organized, thorough, and user-friendly series Bible. Your primary objective is to create a detailed and insightful series Bible for any given novel while maintaining the highest standards of literary analysis. You are highly proficient in identifying and summarizing plot points, themes, character arcs, and future story directions, among other key aspects. You are always careful to provide precise, well-supported information and to respect the unique voice and vision of each author whose work you analyze. Now, please proceed with the following task. You are tasked with creating a comprehensive series Bible for the provided novel. Analyze the text, fill in the following sections. Series overview, log line, genre, themes and motifs, setting, characters, book summary, timeline, writing guidelines, language dialogue, conflicts, additional artifacts, maps, future directions. This is why we call these things labs. You basically put your novel above it because you're tasked with creating a comprehensive series for the provided novel, which is the thing above the Dinkus. Okay, so now we're going to come over here to Claude. 100K, and we're just going to see if it will take it. All right. Series Bible for the Janali Jitalore novel. Very good. Series Bible. The, the story follows Janali Jitalore, a scientist and businesswoman in a world inspired by a steampunk and ancient cultures. Oh, that is dead on. Logline. When her experimental ship returns after disappearing for six months, a female scientist must protect her crew and unlock the mysterious cargo secret while avoiding suspicions of the church and her own sister. Bam. I've just got chills. <laughs> themes. Key themes include science versus religion, female ambition in a patriarchal society. That's a nice thing for it to catch. Characters, Janelle Jalore, yes, female scientist who uses her skills to advance her house fortune. She uses secret powers from the Star Empresses. That is incredible that it picked that up. Um, chapters 1 3 establish Janelle's character, the return of the Virbus, the mysterious cargo barrels full of magical sand. Chapters 4 6 detail Janelle avoiding accusations of smuggling and encounters uh, with the church. 
chapters 7 to 10 reveal the VBS traveled beyond the edge and the church officials arrest a Lieutenant Metallo, which is also good. Future directions. Janely could pursue freeing Lieutenant Metallo. She might face conflict if she exposes the Vibrius crew's journey to be on the edge. Janely could also develop her own abilities to further determine the full potential of the magical sand. You know, uh, uh, this is the, literally the very first time I ran this prompt. I... I'm I'm in total shock because not only did this prompt work, and by the way, I I did spend six hours today generate uh, creating this thing. Uh, not only did this thing work, it worked incredibly well. And on top of that, for the future directions, that's book two. That is entire. That is actually where we went in book two. So it. Did this. So now I'm going to grab this because, you know, like I said, I'm doing this for my own nefarious purposes. So I'm going to come down here to the series Bible and I'm going to paste this in. There we are. Uh, the navigational chart shows a VVS travel, Father Bernali's pouch. Oh my gosh. Okay, that uh, Father Bernal's pouch, that was subtle. That was very subtle i am i'm su really surprised it caught that okay well now let's move into some a further analysis okay so again i'm going to feed it the entire book again and then i'm going to give it this prompt right here you are an experienced copywriter and marketing consultant specializing in the publishing industry and specifically in marketing works of fiction you have a deep understanding of storytelling, audience appeal, and elements that make a novel captivating. Your, your expertise lies in crafting succinct, compelling, and high-concept promotional materials, taglines, loglines, and blurbs that successfully capture the essence of a story and pique potential readers' interests with your keen sense of language innate understanding of what makes a story resonate with readers, you consistently create promotional copy that captures the unique allure of each book. Your job is to take a the novel above, which is a complete, now this is where I, uh, in this particular um, prompt, you, you have to modify it to your, to your work. So you, you have to give it your genre and uh, its setting, and craft three unique taglines, loglines, and blurbs. And then I give it some guidelines. Apply the following guidelines. Taglines, craft one sentence phrases intended to intrigue and attract potential readers. Two, loglines, develop a brief 25 to 30 word description of your plot. Blurbs, write a concise but captivating summary of the book plot hinting at the major events without actually revealing any spoilers. Remember, each piece of the text should work to entice potential readers and convey the unique appeal of your story. Always focus on showing the story's allure rather than just telling what happens. That sentence is crucial. These promotional materials are critical in representing uh, your book to potential readers to so make everywhere count. So I'm going to say the book. This is a, a slightly modified version of it, which I use when I, I'm, I'm asking the AI to, to, de to actually develop some plots for me. So that's why I was using the word your in there. The other thing is, is uh, the reason I hit sweep is because I want it to pick up the new persona and I don't want any uh, any pollution from the previous one, although the previous one is technically about this book. And that persona is actually going to be useful to us for the following for, for, for the next series of questions. So this is where we're going to start doing multiple levels of interviewing. This is the direct result and work out of our lab sessions with Future Fiction Academy. If you'd like to sign up, the link is in the description. Eight times a week, we are getting together with the top authors using AI, and we are solving all of the problems for our members. So any questions they have about editing prompts or writing new material with AI, and how what does that look like for the human to write with AI? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more. Good luck with your writing projects.